Hello everyone, oh, I've got a bit windswept outside, but at least I've got some makeup on today. So welcome to another video. God, I haven't filmed for so long and I get so awkward. So I just wanted to address a few things before we start the haul and before me going forward with all of my videos. We can't ignore the fact what is going on. I have been um, so overwhelmed the last two weeks and I know I'm hormonal, but I just think it's overwhelming for all of us. And it's actually a fact that when you're in limbo, whether it's moving house, a divorce, when you're in limbo and you don't know what's happening you're in between situations it's so stressful on everyone mentally so we're all in that together and we're all feeling that limbo horrible feeling and feeling the strain no matter who you are we're all going through disappointment and whether it'll be a wedding or someone like me having a baby and having to cancel baby showers whether it's something you know a 50th birthday holiday like wedding whatever it will be houseworks we're all disappointed so and then obviously there's the serious matter which i don't want to get too down with the videos because the whole point of me getting back into the videos is one this is my job and i need to get back working just like everybody else it's going to be a really great distraction for me and i really hope for you so so many of you've been requesting videos which i really thank you for because it helped me like get the momentum to start again i'm so happy that i had a bit of energy today i'm going to film this haul we're vlogging we've started the nursery the the wardrobe is nearly down we're just waiting on them radiators so i do have a whole plan of amazing content Hermes collection obviously you want to see the wardrobe the nursery is super fun so i have a lot planned for you so thanks for bearing with me I'm not going to be addressing the coronavirus. I didn't even want to say the words. I'm not going to be addressing them like as such, talking about facts and what we should do and everything like that. I've just decided not to because I think just for my own sanity, I'd rather just get on with the normal things I talk about. But I will be referring to it because there's no denying what's happening. Like all of these dresses I'm about to show you were bought for a holiday that I'm no longer going on. So I'm going to have to address that. And actually talk to you about how I do shop smart and my rules for holiday shopping. Um, and you know, it's worked because I am now not going on any of my holidays. And... I don't need to return everything because the way that I shop, I don't ever buy just holiday things. So, you know, at least I'm putting my own advice into play and it's worked. So I'll be referring to things like that, doing the vlogging. Of course, I'm confined to being at home like everybody else. So, you know, I just wanted to stress that um, we're all in it together. We're all feeling this limbo. We're all disappointed about stuff and don't feel guilty. If like I, I was upset about canceling my baby shower and my ba baby moon. I was upset for at least a week, not crying upset, like even hormonal, I didn't get to tears level. But just don't feel guilty if you're having to cancel your wedding or, you know, cancelling something. It's fine to feel guilty. We're all feeling some sort of disappointment and in some cases much worse. So, um, yeah, we're all in it together. I hope I can provide some kind of entertainment. And I know I don't have the biggest audience, but one thing I just want to leave this on before we go into the hall is please, please, please stay at home. And it's crazy to, to hear people keep saying it and people aren't staying at home. And I can't stress how important it is that you stay at home. It is so important. There's so many of us sacrificing everything for our own selves, for the rest of the world, for the rest of the country to stay in. And then, sorry, but you're selfish to be going out, just larking around in the park. Like yesterday, we all saw in the news, hundreds of people sitting in the park in London. It's just so selfish and I just, it just can't happen anymore. So the longer you all leave it like this, the longer we are going to be in isolation and you're gonna to have to do it soon and you're gonna to have to do it for even longer. So thanks to everyone that's doing that. I'm speaking to hundreds of people daily on Instagram and you're all staying in, you're all taking extra precautions. So, yeah, most of us are doing that. I don't want to talk for too long. Thank you for all healthcare workers across the world. If you're watching this, I literally can, can get emotional just thinking about the sacrifice for... Oh, it literally makes me so upset just thinking about all the NHS workers that and health workers that are sacrificing everything to help. It's just so amazing. So, 
oh, I'm so stupid, but it means so much to so many people. So thank you if you're a healthcare worker. I know I've got all bright red, I need to take my goat off. But um, it just means, just know it means so much to all of us that, that you're doing that. So, oh my God, what a mess. <laughs> so let's just forget about all this serious stuff for, for half an hour and talk about some nice dresses and, and happy thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so we're ready to start the video. I got a bit emotional there, sorry. I think, I think this tripod is my bloody therapist. I think what it is, is I've, I've held it in for two weeks, haven't really spoken about it. Then I come in here all on my own, and I think it's um, just, you know, when you speak about something, and I made the mistake of watching a video about some nurses praying earlier, and I couldn't even watch the whole thing because I found it so emotional. So I think that was also, also on my mind. Um, right, so let's get on with this video. I have a lot of dresses here. I might put on this night. A bit more sparkle. Yep, that looks nice. And excuse the hair, but I just don't really care. It's not important at the moment. Um, so everything here I bought. Uh, there's one brand that gifted me some dresses. I actually have six from their brand, three I bought. It's a brand I buy every summer for myself. And for the first time, they... Um, kindly gifted me some dresses, but the majority of it I bought. And everything here is was, was for my baby moon. We were going somewhere very beautiful that we've always wanted to go. Um, completely over it, but we decided a week ago it was not safe. And then today they officially canceled the flights, which was actually a good thing because now we don't have to fight for a refund or anything. So um, the rule that I have, yeah, we're just going to swiftly move on from that. The rule that I have when holiday shopping is I really try to avoid anything that's just for holiday. And I strongly advise you do that because it can be a waste of money, even if it's something inexpensive or cheaper than what you'd normally buy, because it will then just sit in your drawer until your next holiday, which for most of us is once a year, twice a year. Yes, I travel a lot for work, but they're not holidays. I'm there to work, I'm there to normally wear their brand or something, so um, by the time the next year comes, I'm quite good at this actually. I keep bikinis for like 10 years, but here we go again. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it now, so sorry. Um, so off-putting. So yeah, I'm quite good that I keep bikinis and I kind of just wear them all the time. But normally if you're buying something just for holiday, you get bored of it by the next time. So, you know, buy the odd thing that's just for holiday. Of course, bikinis and things like that. But in terms of dresses, uh, really try and think, will I wear this in the summer? Can I wear this on a trip to Italy, walking around in a city? And can I wear it on the beach in like the Maldives or Tulum or something? So try and find things that go on all holidays and then you can also wear it in the summer in your own country. That's the most important thing. So everything that I've bought here, I can wear here in the summer. I can even take it through to spring and autumn with a pair of knee-high boots. I've even done a, a video on this. It's quite old, but I'll link it. It's me wearing summer stuff in, in autumn and in winter. Learn it with knitwear, knee-high boots, tights. So I really try and make sure my holiday clothes are crossbow wear, have longevity and stay in my wardrobe for literally years to come. And that's worked out well because I don't have to send anything back. So I just put this on today because it was just chilly outside. Um, but it actually looks quite nice with my pink dress. This is a pink dress, as you can see. Paris calls it the bonbon. Um, I got 15% off this. So this website where I got it from, this website, they are doing 15% off. It's very oversized. So I have a size small one and I'm just over five months pregnant so that shows you how big it is but um it looks really great with a pair of cream knee high boots definitely invest in a pair of cream knee high boots if you can because they just go with everything cream knee high boots and i've actually found a really amazing pair that are similar to my ones that i always wear so i'll link them below and i think the website is still doing their 25 percent off discount code um right so let's get into it because we've got a lot of dresses to get through We've got anything from designer to high street to high end high street, like it's a bit of everything. The first few dresses I'm going to talk about are my Zimmerman dresses. I can't escape getting a Zimmerman dress. Um, I didn't buy these ones actually, I've just realised that I put them in the last minute. So it's the ghost ones and these ones, just so that you're all transparent and clear. 
Um, can't go wrong with this Zimmerman dress every summer. And I try not to buy too many because even the ones that I do buy, and obviously this is work, so it's not like free, but I think you will know how it works now. I'm still careful about what I'm choosing. Um, I try not to buy too many because my budget is not even up there that much, where I can just buy five of these a year. Um, I try and buy ones that aren't going to be too recognised for the trend and I just make sure that I know I can wear it next summer. I have some of my dresses from two summers ago and I, I would still wear them. That doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, I always have to have one. This one is like a super long maxi. And then this one is more of a shorter one. And I actually had to go for size three. I think that was a size two. Yeah, that one I had to go for size three. Um, I've already tried those ones on. I've had them a while. I hope they still fit me. Now... I think we would talk about the ghost dresses. So I did not want to talk about these ghost dresses when I first got them. Well, I'm the kind of influencer that when I get something, I don't talk about it right away, which is really annoys my own self. I normally just take my time. I'll share, share it with you a few weeks later. And that's what happened with this dress. And then by the time I went to show you it, just on stories, I didn't want to rub it in because of how I got them. So this is one of the dresses that I picked up on in the Ghost Boutique in, on Kings Road. And they're 165 to 75. It went down to 49.50. And then I, pay, oh, sorry, 82 pound 50. And then 49 pound 50. So I roughly bought all three of them for around 50 pounds and three of them came to less than the full price of one and look at the most beautiful colors like the colors of the season they do this one in new season but it's slightly a deeper lilac i'll put up a picture here in the corner um and i didn't want to like rub it in and say that i've been to the shop and got these amazing finds uh, but I have looked online and they do have lots and lots of sale items on, online. So I've decided to show you because it's not going to be frustrating for you. Um, of course, do not go shopping at the moment. But I never knew that downstairs they had a lot of sale stock and they had every single size. I had to get large and XL because of the bump because they have these buttons. But I would either just save them for a next pregnancy dress because they're so classic and good quality. Or it'd be very easy to take in or even belt. So I was so, so happy with these. I buy three of these. I bought three of these last summer. A couple the summer before. They're just so elegant. Oh no, I left the rope. I left the rope to this in the house. So when I do the trying on, I'll just use the other rope. But, but ignore that. So that was one I got. I got a nice print, the lilac one. This would go nice together. Um, and they had so many sizes. I'm normally a size small in these. Got the lemon one, which is one of my favourite colours. Perfect for a boy. And then the lilac one. And if you can't get this one in the sale, they do have the new season one. Look how lovely that goes. I'll link this cardigan down below as well. And then this one was one of my front runners. Well, my only front runner for now. For my baby shower. So I wasn't going to show you it, but um, clearly I'm not having a baby shower. So I was got one of my friends was organising something amazing for me in um, a venue in Chelsea. Um, so we've decided that if we are, if I am fortunate enough, and we're all fortunate enough that our lives can go back together, I'm actually decided to do it in my garden, a lot more low-key. So whatever happens, it's going to be a lot more low-key. But I will be having a back baby shower, even if it's a Paris and I probably will wear this dress. So I just love this. It's a cherry blossom print. And I thought it was nice and girly but also very boy vibes with the blue flowers and the lilac. I really loved that. And I'll probably wear my lilac Manolo with that. So that's them. Oh, I've got this one as well. I showed this on my Insta stories a couple of months ago and you all loved it. And this was the dress. It's ghost. They have it in pink, which I really love. They had it in green in the sale. Um, but I just love all the puff sleeve, the gathered sleeve. I love the quality so much of Ghost and I'm not massively a dress person but these are one dresses, one of the brands that I wear every single year and I really love them, you can just keep them in your wardrobe but that's one that I haven't really had before, I normally go for the silky ones but yeah as I was saying they're just so classic and stay in your wardrobe forever again this would look so nice with even a cropped leather jacket and my cream knee high boots or flip flops in the summer Went for a large because they're pregnant, the pregnancy. 
now I have H&M bits. So I got these quite a while ago and I didn't show anything because that was my week when I was kind of getting over not going on holiday. I'm over it now, it's fine. <laughs> but this is the most beautiful dress that I bought myself from H&M. It's a linen mix and it's just so beautiful. It looks like Zimmerman, it feels like Zimmerman. I always say that when you put on a Zimmerman dress, there's just something about it that makes you feel amazing and look amazing. And this dress has that, I swear. It's so heavy. It's like a silk linen. linen. Look at the attention to detail in the silhouette, even in the sleeves, even the hems. There's one hem here, a curved hem here. It goes in slightly at the waist, so it's not a big maxi dress. It actually goes in. It has pockets. It has slits. It's perfection. It's absolutely perfection. And do you know, I nearly didn't buy it because it was something like £70 when your average H&M dress is, what, 20 to 30, 35 max. And I nearly didn't buy it, but I thought, I'll try it. I'll send it back if not. And I would pay like 300 for this. I'd pay more for this. You'll see it when I put it on how be absolutely beautiful it is. It's one of my favourite dresses. Um, and I think, I'm glad I went for a large, but um, see all the darts at the back here. You can't really see because the pattern. But I could easily just have those taken in for to wear it after. But you know what, it's a summer holiday dress. I can just wear it as a large, it's fine. But one of the best finds, one of the best high street finds ever. Probably my best high street dress um so i do hope they've still got that in stock if not just keep looking i'm sure they'll get some more in or maybe you can find them in store this has been my first maternity leave that's not nothing him is maternity leave i've just gone up a couple of sizes this i put in my basket for the normal just the normal collection and then i did see it in maternity wear and decided just to buy it in maternity wear because it would have the extra fabric but i just thought this was so nice to wear i love the color and it's just nice and easy. It wasn't expensive. I don't put the price on. I think it was £30. So really nice. Um, just wanted to invest in a couple of dresses for maternity wear. Just to wear in the summer. I know it's going to be hot. I didn't want to have to panic when the summer comes and go out dress shopping. So I've, I've really prepared myself. And all of my holiday bits I can wear in the summer. And this is me now. Like I'm done. This is more than enough for me. Mixed in with all of my other clothes that I already have. But I can wear these with knee high boots now with a leather jacket or even flat knee highs um but they're nice and airy for the summer um not too expensive probably can wear it again it's not that maternity i can keep it it's the kind of dress i can just keep if i'm hopefully ever pregnant again what other ancient oh i'm going to show you some bits i've got for paris only simple oh and i also forgot to show you my new maternity gems I'll do a cutaway. I was so excited about maternity jeans. H&M, this is not sponsored. I literally just shop on there like I guess the whole world does. But um, their maternity green jeans are just so great. I was so excited to get a pair of jeans on. And I love dungarees. So I got myself some maternity dungarees. I'm very excited about those. And, oh God, the bending, the bending down. And the jeans, I'm just so pleased that I got myself a pair. I'm a medium. Um, I'm going to get myself a black pair. Probably, I'm not an emergency for them. Probably later on I'll get them. So, men's shorts. I just got Paris in black. Um, and this pinstripe one. And I just love H&M shorts for men. They're so affordable. So these were all for the holiday. I normally get him like Asos H&M. And then like a nice pair of Ralph Lauren ones. Um, but yes, that is no longer. The last thing, oh, I'm doing okay for time. The last thing, I whisked through this. The last thing, sorry, I forgot another gift, is this gift from La Perla. So I just wanted to include this because I always take a nice pair of pajamas with me on holiday. But now more than ever, ever, we want to have loungewear and be at home. So La Perla kindly gifted me these. They sent me them as a surprise for Mother's Day. So I actually got them on Saturday. It was Mother's Day on Sunday. And they're just so beautiful. Um, I actually spoke about these on my blog post. Uh, one that I did for Farfetch just before Christmas. And I included these, the baby blue and the gold. And they actually sent me the baby blue as well for, um, for when I have the baby. Which is so exciting. I'm going to keep them away in the box. But I'll show you more about these when I vlog. 
the next video is going to be a vlog. I'm going to show you what was in that Hermes bag. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that Paris got me um, a nice special gift for Mother's Day. I'm going to show you what that is. I show you the other La Perla PJs, and we're going to talk about the nursery and start doing that. And we're going to show you all that. Uh, but yeah, the most beautiful La Perla classic silk PJs. So I'm going to try all of these on for you. I promise I'll try my best with trying on. Oh, I feel like I've got really big the last couple of days. Um, it's very exhausting trying on clothes when you're pregnant, like this far. Really exhausting. So I promise I'll try my best. I'll try as many as I can. Everything will be linked below with size uh, reference um, and anything that's gifted, just to make sure that that's all crystal clear. Um, yeah, so basically I hope that tip is, the, the main focus of this video is if you're buying things for holiday, and I know that it's probably a sore subject because so many of you have had to cancel holidays, but there's so many of us that had to cancel, trust me, I know, I know the disappointment, but we can always have another holiday, and we don't know when this is going to end, so um, you can be browsing, dreaming of your next holiday, so just something, just to think about in the future, because this is what happened to me, I bought all these lovely clothes for my holiday and I wanted to show you them, but bear in mind that if you do buy any holiday clothes, can you wear them in your, in your hometown, you know, your home country rather, when, I'm losing it, Whatever you buy, buy it for your holiday, but say to yourself, can I wear this at home in my home country as well? Then I'm going to a city holiday or I'm going to a beach holiday. Can I wear them all? Can I style it all up? So I mean, I would even, oh, I've forgotten a dress. What, what am I not, I've, I'm, honestly, I don't know what's going on. This has reminded me. So this was another dress from H&M that was really, really affordable. It was around the 30 pound. It's just an off the shoulder, super long lots of fabric black maxi dress fab for here i could, i would even wear these with cowboy boots here or manolos like i've got on here flip flops cowboy boots so many easy ways to wear a long black dress um it's perfect for me to wear now it will take me right through to my heavy pregnancy stages uh, perfect for holiday perfect for here ideal for after the baby i literally can envision me walking with the pram because we will be allowed out by july walking with the pram feeling a bit chubby and a bit not myself something nice and baggy airy in the summer pushing the pram so this is going to take me right through till summer and it's just an off the shoulder maxi dress in my size and i'll be able to wear this non-pregnant so um yeah i had all of these things in my mind so even though that was a holiday dress I also planned for when I'm back with the baby and everything like that. And totally forgot this. So this was just a, this is a real holiday thing, you know. Um, but of course you need swimwear. So I haven't bought a sarong in absolutely years. And I loved this. This is more like a skirt. It's a skirt, but in a sarong style. And it's a lovely silk leopard print. And it's Ganny. I absolutely love it. So it's kind of skirt sarong vibes. And then this is the matching swimsuit. So I'll link that below so you can properly see it. But how lovely. I can just envision like a black bandana on. Um, I can envision for the next holiday. Maybe I can even wear it in the garden with a paddling pool. So I'm going to try all these on for you now. I would love it if you would subscribe. Do keep all the requests coming. So I'm going to try and put out as many videos as I can. The next video is the vlog about, um, you know, how we're dealing with being at home, what we're doing, showing you the nursery, showing you what was in that Hermes box. So hopefully that's a good video. Um, I hope you're all doing as well as can be, and I will see you in the next video. Oh. <laughs>